Welcome to iMindMap User from www.imindmapuser.com. More tips, tricks, and techniques for getting the most from Buzan's iMindMap. If you don't have a copy of the software, simply click on the link below this video right now for your free seven day trial. Hi, welcome to this uh, short video where I'm going to give you a quick run round the iMindMap software so you can get a feel for where the different functions are and where you can find the various features that you'll call upon when you are creating your mind map. So here is the software as it opens up. As you can see, some of these functions here are grayed out, as are some of the items in the menu bar here. That's because we don't have a map open. So let's just very quickly create a map. So just put a test map. So we've got a map in there, and now all of a sudden you see that the features at the top here suddenly become live. So um, what we just want to do is quickly run through the menu bar up here. File menu has all sorts of things of opening, saving, importing, and exporting, printing, the sort of standard things you'll see under a file menu heading. Edit, we can start looking at normal cut, copying, pasting, undo and redo, and start adding some of the features to the various branches as we develop them. View starts looking at the different ways we can view our mind map and also allows us to access things like the image library and the icon library. And we do things like fitting to screen, zooming in and out, very useful functions there. Presentation, this is all about how our map performs when we are using the presentation mode. Insert, and now we're starting to look at things that we can add new branches, the various texts, the images, they can all be accessed from here. Format, that's looking at the various aspects of the text, whether you want it at the beginning or the end of the branch or in the center. And then we start looking at some of the tools. Checking spelling, thesaurus, um, this is a very useful one. E-learning uh, center builder, you can create your own e-learning resources here. And there you can access it there. And of course the good old help function. Some very useful features in here, online video tutorials and sample mind maps to help you get started. Now many of those features are also accessible through these icons on the menu bar here. Uh, new, you just see me do that. Open, we can open uh, recent files, or we can import from a variety of other mind mapping formats as well from other things. So we can take in Word documents, we can do um, Mind Manager or FreeMind. Those are other uh, alternative mind mapping softwares. Save. Uh, does what it says on the tin there, as does print. View, we can start looking at the different ways of accessing these things. Now, I personally like to use these icons because it's very easy to access them rather than go through the words up here. And after a while, you'll very quickly spot and get used to the different icons. Tools, very useful tools in here. You can capture areas of the maps so you can put them into documents and there's other things you do check spelling etc undo and redo very useful function so if I just do that that highlights if I don't want to cancel that just do that draw this is the way our maps actually draw we can control that and I can take you through a few of those in a later video we can insert various ex, ex um, sorry we can insert various aspects as well and then the different modes of the tool and we can play around with the oh there's a help file very very good help file and you can zoom in and out, etc. So that's a very quick run round how the or the layout of my map software. Very intuitive, very easy to use. So I hope you enjoyed that and look forward to helping you get the most out of this powerful tool. That was another tip, trick, or technique for getting the most from Buzan's iMindMap from iMindMap User at www.imindmapuser.com. If you don't have a copy of the software, simply click on the link below this video right now and get your free seven-day trial.